Welcome back to 30 Minute Valheim with Cody. I am Cody. You might notice uh, things are going a little fast here. Well, guess what? I ran four episodes with no microphone. So I'm going to redo them here. We're going at 4x speed. And that's it, man. Most of this was just expanding my resources, my food. Um, might be a little bit of upgrading going on, but mostly it's eating and exploring. Spinning flax. <laughs> Making bread. And my hunt is on soon, or now, or whatever. Um, eventually, to find five of the fueling totems. As well as to find the location of Yagluth. So most of this entire part of the series is just spent doing those things. And I'm just scoping out areas uh, where I have or haven't been yet. And looking for more things in the plains. Essentially the fueling totems. So I had found some villages over here last episode. And I'm running back toward them. And uh, getting my health up and going to clear this camp out and try to get a fueling totem in the process. So at this point, I'm still essentially working through the town slowly. Taking out as many fueling as I can. Collecting the black metal. Essentially doing just like a thorough job of clearing each village out. Uh, so I think at this point, I still, you know, need some more black metal. Possibly to upgrade my sword and shield. I'm not seeing the uh, the level of that now. This is kind of keystone cops here. Just knocking them out. Not much challenge in a lot of this. Uh, but now I'm seeing a couple of big guys over there. I'm like, hey, come over here. Let's just all have a party. I'm like, oh man, come on, two at once? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and there goes my stamina. Uh-oh, look out. I'm going to kick them all the way back over here and just run them around the, the area for a bit. Hope they don't destroy my my place. Oops, a little close. Why am I getting close? Get away from my place. Ouch. Yeah, man. So I'm just <laughs> running around, running around with these things. Uh, they get in a fight with something over there, which is, I'm assuming, a gray dwarf. Hey, wait a minute. There it is. All right. Got one of them now instead of both of them. I'm still scared of him. Hit, hitting me with arrows. Wait, yeah, just one. Kind of hard to tell. All right. And then there was one other. I think it just kind of started running back home after destroying those gray dwarfs. So I had to go all the way back to find it. <laughs> there it is. Saw it through the fog. Here it comes. That was easy. So that was the few big berserkers. Oh, and then there's a third one, I say to myself. Oh, 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 look how much it's taken out of me there. And I'm like, what do I do? Okay, health is building back up already. Okay. I'm just going to run so far that it can't find me. Notice the sun was going down and just wanted to get all the way back. I didn't want to go in that one area. Because I haven't... Oh, I haven't even moved the portal there yet. Okay. This is before I move the portal a little closer to that village. Yeah, you know, emptying out my stash, doing the typical chores. Okay, tomorrow I'll need more potions. What else do I need? Until I got the porcupine already, but not Frostner or anything like that. Yeah, watching this, remember, reminding myself I could find some more serpent meat, but... If you remember what I left... If you remember. Never mind, I'm talking about the future, because it's already the past. Yum onions. Sometimes I wish some of these things went this fast. <laughs> I've corrected, if you don't notice already, the uh, audio pitch. I just used the option to keep that 
as correct as possible. Uh, the high pitch just gets whiny and kind of annoying after a while. This is fun. <laughs> yeah. Been a lot of time here. It's been a lot of time doing things here. You know, I'm somewhat satisfied with the surroundings of this base. It's certainly not uh, word winning, but it's certainly no shack. So I've even bothered to try to put on a tar roof. That's probably something I should do. A little redecoration, facade work. Yep, we'll be doing this barley for a while. It will be a consistent theme. Um, now, I am getting to the salad days, though, of the Mistlands. Once I get the rabbits going, I might not need to get as much barley. Because I get some higher stamina food from some of those foods. How many times I don't know that door's open? Eventually I'll cut that small tree, but I've been leaving it just for sentimental value. Ah uh, yes, the old charcoal days. <clears throat> okay, I grabbed, I guess, enough wood for a workbench. Ah, right. I'm just going to leave this stuff and go run to that new location. <laughs> That's just a house now. No longer a portal. What are you guys doing? That shaman was just doing a little dance there at the side of the water. I remember thinking that when I saw it the first time. Yeah, it's interesting to revisit these memories from when I did this recording. Hey, hey. Yellow goo all over my wall. I'm like, okay, check this place out. Uh, 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 where do I put it? Uh, uh, okay, there. <laughs> yeah, stop. Knocking at my door. Oh yeah, and this kind of weird, awkward upper level. Very minimal effort, and I've left it that way ever since. Those noises are very interesting. It sounds like a laughter in the background. I think it's just a deer. <laughs> Alright, it's making me feel really silly. Um, at one point, yeah, so that's the end of uh, one episode. This is the second one. And... I know in the third one I try a slightly different technique for how the uh, transpose is done. So we'll see if that makes a difference. It seemed like it almost looked like motion blur in the preview. But I wanted to see what the render would look like. Anyway, this one's, um, I don't know, some other one. It's not sampling. It was one of the other techniques. I can block it when I try. I don't want those two dudes. Oh yeah, right, because I left them last time. When I ran through the portal. Couple of long range shots. These little guys. Hey. There you go. I was kind of going up and see what else I got. I don't remember if I found a. Yeah, okay. So there is a totem here. Oh no! I'm on fire! I'm on fire again! He's shooting me from afar! Go take care of him! All right, and there we have it. And I was wanting to get some deer hides. Easy to get from these things. Hello, buddy. Spank, 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 spank. Oh, a lot of free flax. Yeah, it's taking all your deer hide. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so that's that village. Hey, hey, hey. Store some of the blood. Oh. <laughs> to run up on a deer like that. Almost uh, two stacks of black metal back there. Yeah, that flax. Delicious meats. Right, so lox pies, really good. Plains food, basically. Wood for something. I'm gonna cook. I don't know. I'm keeping some food in my bag for some reason. Ah, clam bacon. Baking some bread. <laughs> 
<laughs> and, oh, the barley wine base. Yes. Fire resistance. The one thing that's not a mead. It's got its own category. Barley wine. It's not honey mead. That's what's up. Yay, let's make some fish. Taco. Uh, fish tacos, I keep calling the fish wraps. Yeah, I don't got a lot of fish at that point. Very quickly, don't burn anything. That music signifies it's dark. Officially nighttime outside. Tacos, 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 tacos. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Stone pile by the cliff. Ah, all that whoosh, whoosh, whoosh was making me think of some improv stuffs. Fun for warm up, but you don't really want to do what these sort of um, sound openings with just whoosh. But sometimes you do, I guess. I know I do a little workshop where I work just kind of an informal thing not team building or corporate workshop but just an improv workshop it's fun uh, one of the things I don't really do much of is openers in various types maybe I should do that I guess it's because it's not really my style one group kind of has its opener and we're kind of refining it working on it um, but another group I do, I mean, I guess in a way now, there's a monologue, but it's only meant as a tonal setting, not a kind of suggestion draw. And it's by the star of the show, not like just a guest monologist. So they not only monologue, they perform in four or five scenes afterward. Very interesting thing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clear this other village out. Hello everyone. Oh, 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 getting spanked. Oh, oh, oh. So many of them. Let's run really far away. Okay, now I got him on the run. Haha. -ha. I win the battle. Okay, what's up to the village? Oh. Oh, no more arrows. Well, that's always a bummer. Two star fueling. Nice little punch down there. Yeah, I'm out of arrows. I got it. I got the message. Um, I'm destroying flax. Pick the flax while fighting. <laughs> Alright, I guess I feel like I know what I'm doing here. Oh yeah, the sharpening stone, I say. That's what I was missing earlier. Really? You didn't come down to help your friends? You just stood on the tower and watched? Weirdo. Uh, I think I'm mad there's no totem fueling. Fueling totem. Totem. Fueling. Now it's kind of just continuing the hunt for those fueling totem totem fueling's. Fueling's nothing more than fueling's. No totem, no codem, no scrotum, no bodem away. They're fueling's. Oh, all these fueling's. I wish I could find five fueling totems someday. Ooh, already back. Man. Alright, so uh, at this point I'm still... Machine gun. Still in, a, still in a hunt for at least three more fueling totems. Three different varieties of machine gun. What do you mean there's no guns in this game? Let me see. Alright. Bing bong. I'm trying to build. Hmm. I don't know what I'm trying to build. Wait, what's going on? 
Oh, I'm pausing between sets. Now it's back to set three. Oh yeah, so I do a slightly different... Yeah, that transposition you do see when I'm moving, it's got a little blur to it. It's some sort of smoothing effect it's trying to do. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that would help or hurt, but no matter how you feel about it, keep in mind it's only the next seven minutes. And then it goes back to the way the transpose was before this. I think to really get a good balance of what I really want for zoom, uh, speed zoom would probably require After Effects. I kind of want a little tracer thing in some way. This is a small amount of that, but yeah, interesting. Just kind of smooth all that rough. Up, up, up. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Where is perhaps planes where I can find more, uh... Wait, oh, I'm just going to the swamps? Okay, guess maybe I'm doing a swamp run? Let's see. <laughs> Get everything ready first. I just get my stuff for a cart. Okay, I guess the idea is that I have perhaps metal at bone mass that I'm going to take. Right. I think this is me trying to gather up all the black metal and iron that I have. Alright, I was taking the rocks in case I need to flatten paths. I wasn't quite sure how deep holes might be. Okay. Why am I in here? Oh, because I left uh, iron and I wanted to gather iron. Okay. Yep. Oh. Oh. Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. I'm just in a frenetic iron gathering frenzy. Clean it up. <laughs> it's all a little mouse stirring around. Oh yes, there was way more metal than I can carry. Exactly. So dump some and go back and get the rest. That's the goal. Okay, yeah. I think I still end up with more than I can carry and put more around uh, the, bu uh, the bucket. Yeah, because I found an entire other room here. Ah! Whole other room. Right. Oh, yeah, I can't hold that much more. Okay, there's a whole other one here with a whole other door on the other side. Nope, okay, so okay then. Good. I'm like, geez, how long does this go? I didn't think that was it. Alright. Get a cart and... Oh, oh, wait, oh, yeah. Get the cart and uh, fill it up. Wait, what? No, here. There we go. Alright. Heading to my uh, tiny little spot near the water. Woof! Run the logs, run the logs. Yeah, so it turns out I didn't have any really deep water to deal with. Here I could have maybe, like there I could have stopped and maybe built something. But I just went ahead and ran it through. Ow. Kaboom. Look at that. Hey, 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 hey. Just beating up my own building. Kind of interesting hearing the music fast, but not the wrong tones. Sure, tear that up too. Didn't bring a boat, so let's go get a boat. Wait, where's my boat? Uh-oh, I can't do the boat. What am I doing? Uh, putting things away? Okay, there's some fine wood. Three totems, it looked like? Went really fast. Anyway, still need a few totems, two or three. 
at this point, no idea where to find him, no idea where to find Yigloo. Alright, boat parks. Hmm, planes won. Oh, okay. I'm getting the birch tree. Right. Uh, that's where the birch tree I had over there went. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Dang, man. Birch tree. Yeah, put the birch tree away. I have burned some fine wood. Some one of these episodes. Just not a lot, but enough to make me go, dang. Gonna be boating. <laughs> After I pick these onions, it's too dark to go boating. Always a little side quest in a way to do. The maintenance of the food. To keep that food supply rolling. <laughs> Very cool. Darkness. Darkness imprisoning me. All I can see. Absolute horror. Boy, it's just a food frenzy, huh? All this preparation to go boating. Making meads. Really keeping the prep going on that nighttime bit. Day 186. Cruising right out toward Yagluth. Chapter 5. Approximately 40 days per boss so far. Miss Lands, I'm going to say we're going to double that. But the first few, approximately 40 game days or whatever. Okay. Minimal time to make somewhat of a dock that people don't walk around easily. Okay, and that was a new episode. So if you hated whatever the interpolation was there, don't worry, we're back to the time flow or whatever that is, which I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Time flow. Yep, I think it's more appropriate for slower. Don't want to pop motor here because I was just wanting to be safe anyway around these rocks. Pulling up to that base there. Got a little more cavalier because I'm like, I can repair it. Run into logs and shit. Yeah, I'll repair it by building this thing. Just swim out here. Ugh, dummy. <laughs> hey. Dudes. Seriously. What was this all about? Just put it in the boat and get out of here. And then I like I threw it under the boat. <laughs> I was <laughs> I'm just like, look, I'm just <laughs> I'm playing toss the metal to get my stamina back over there. Alright. Like, wait, what am I trying to do here? Oh yeah, we're going to the bone mass now. Before we boat, we need to set the portal. Now we boat. Yeah, a combination of black metal and iron run. Ooh, that nice win. Check the map, check the map. Always check the map. Familiar territory. new to discover right now. Just want to get home. Wind's still doing all right. Almost this trip. Why do I cut this way? Oh yeah. That's where the other materials are. There's 
Splash, splash, splash goes the water. package has arrived. And we're off. Oh, 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 oh. I think the tuna salad I had for lunch was a little rancid. Dude, that wasn't tuna, that was serpent salad. Oh, no one told me I'm allergic to serpent. Oh, your body looks like a barnacle covered turtle thing. Oh, no, skippity. Yes, yeah, skippity. Skippity do, skippity da. All right, watch the lens there. Look at your map. Look at your map again. Alright. This song sped up. Could you play it like a kind of a metal? Something like that. Put a little guitar solo into that. Yes, I learned to surf the banks. Yo! Really hoping for a serpent. Just really hoping and praying for a serpent. Pretty sure those were my exact lines during this bit. And we're home. And there's another boat there. Oh yeah, smash it. Smash it. Shapwow! <laughs> Fuck you, boat. <laughs> I just leave it on top of it. Spoiler alert, it crunches. Look at this. It's like... We just toss these on the ground. And none of them fell over. Well, this is about to wrap it up. This has been kind of fun. Sometimes I wonder maybe I should always play it like this. <laughs> um, but I don't. Nighttime. We got a minute and a half left here. But a lot of time in game day. So, what? That's four or five hours of game day. See what happens. Well, I think mostly it's like, oh, let's make stuff. Uh, do I need iron first? Oh, I do need iron first. I'm carrying all the iron. I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, more coal. I was just trying to run back home and I fell off the thing. Moving stuff, putting stuff away. Yeah, might as well get some resin on fire from time to time. I really don't do it often. It's like the meme. I got 150 torches around my house. How many are lit? Meme angry face. Smacking my fence. Yeah, whoa. Oh, 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 hey. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Um, that's gonna wrap it up, being a bug up, and uh, we'll be back to normal speed next episode. Later.